Monday, April 4th. It's been spring for a couple weeks now. Thought I might go out and do some herping. Let's take a look outside. Yeah. Welcome to New York. Yeah, so here's the weather forecast for the next week. And if you can't read that, Winter remix and patchy winter remix. High 30. Tonight a low of 13. Tomorrow scattered flurries 29. Tuesday night 16. Wednesday 43 degrees. Chance of rain, snow, and breezy. Wednesday night 38 degrees. Thursday 50 degrees. And Thursday night 30 degrees. Showers likely. Then rain, snow likely. You know, I've lived in New York all my life, but this shit never ceases to amaze me. And I can't, it's not logical to get pissed off at the weather, because, you know, you can't control it. But, <laughs> you know, I, uh, I'm ready for spring. This is some bullshit. This is some straight up bullshit. It's April. We didn't get a single day like this in all of March. Even, you look as far ahead as Saturday, chance of snow showers are high near 35. Look at this. Look what's going on outside my, outside my house. What the hell is that? I want to go herping. Damn it. It's April. I should be able to. Oh my god. Fucking New York. I need to move south. Alright, since I'm not going to be able to do any outdoor videos for a while, I figured this would make, be a good time to introduce you guys to some of my recent pickups. Uh, I went to a reptile show on April 2nd, came home with a few new critters, and to start off I'll show you these chubby frogs. I've been looking for these guys for a while, and uh... I managed to pick up a pair of them. I don't the one already buried itself. And I don't want to harass them too much because they're still adjusting. But yeah, they're pretty cool. I mean, you know. They're pretty to look at. The care requirements are pretty simple from what I understand, but they uh they are a little bit boring, I suppose. They just spend their time in the dirt. I haven't seen them eat yet or or anything, but uh, they're still adjusting, so I'm not too worried about that. But yeah, they're really interesting frogs. I like how they just kind of walk around. They don't really... Uh, do much hopping. Alright, I'll put him back. Let him bury himself. Alright, moving on from one frog to another. I also got a pair of African bullfrogs. And this is another species I've been wanting for a long time. Um, they are divided in a 10 gallon for now. There's the other one back there. And uh, I got two of them because I'm really hoping to get a male. I don't, I'm not looking to breed them or anything, but the males are certainly more impressive. They grow much larger than the females. <clears throat> That's what I'm hoping I end up with. So I figured to better my chances, I might as well get two of them. <clears throat> but these little guys are great. They're already... Uh, feeding on crickets and roaches. Let's see if I can get him to eat right now. Yep, there he goes. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to watching these guys grow. Let's see if he wants one too. Sorry, it's not focused, but yep, he's gonna take it.
Very cool. They're really pretty. Alright, next up we got this little uh, Eastern King Snake, also known as a Chain King Snake. And honestly, I was a bit surprised to see them at the show. And I was also, and I, you know, I was even a little bit more surprised that I actually got one. I went to the show looking to get maybe like a bull snake or a pine snake, and you know, something different from what I already have. I already have uh, four other Lampropeltis snakes, uh, including two California king snakes that are also black and white. So it's like, how many black and white snakes do I need, right? But uh, these eastern king snakes, I think they're really cool. They're one of the larger, heavier bodied king snakes. This one's a female. So I'm excited to watch her grow. But yeah, I, gotta, I, I probably should lay off the king snakes and diversify my collection a little bit. But I could not pass this up. I've never seen one for sale before. They're not the, uh, the most popular snake. You don't see them around a lot. But at, at 25 bucks, yeah kind of feel like I, uh, I got lucky on this one. I was really happy to find her. Gorgeous markings. I'm in pretty good temperament. So far no bites. she goes. Alright, now last but not least, we got this guy over here. And he is a Chuckwalla. Lizard from the southwestern United States. Second largest lizard in the country after the Gila monster. Another lizard I've been looking for for a while. Didn't think I'd actually find one. And he was the, he's the prettiest one out of the batch. They had a whole bunch in a bin. And uh, the guy I bought them from told me they were captive bred. I'm not sure if I 100% believe him. But either way, I ended up with one. And yeah, he's, he's a beautiful lizard. That dark black contrasting with that yellow tail. I really like him a lot. He's a little skittish. Yep. He's not used to being handled. I'm not going to bother him too much. The guy I bought him from also said that their care was kind of similar to a bearded dragon. But from the research I've done, they're a little bit more similar to a <clears throat> something like a Euromastic. So I've got a uh, quite a bit of heat going on in there. I got two heat bulbs, as well as UVB, and uh, this is kind of a just a quick setup. I kind of want to improve this a little bit. It's a 40-gallon breeder. I'd like to give him something bigger, considering how flighty he's been. Maybe put something on the back and on the side there, so he doesn't try to get out through the glass or anything. You know, make him feel a little bit more secure. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, I thought so too. Don't know a lot about them. Still got a lot of learning to do. If you know anything about them, leave a comment. Give me some care tips if you would. Um, those bullfrogs are pretty sweet too. Can't wait to watch them grow. Make sure I'll give updates on those. Uh, yeah, so uh, thanks for watching. I like, comment, subscribe, and all that. Uh, hopefully, you know, next time I'm here, the weather won't uh, look quite like that. And uh, we'll be back out in the field seeing what's out there in the wild. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you're enjoying the channel so far. If you have anything you'd like to see, you know, let me know in the comments. Thinking about maybe doing some product reviews, book reviews, other stuff to change it up a bit. You know, I don't want it to be just a, another standard... Uh, YouTube herping channel, reptile channel. Yeah, so let me know what you like to see. I'll I'll try to you know take any comments or suggestions into consideration, and uh, see you next time.